This is your complete guide to how to make a birthday wishes video. We'll cover how to film, edit, share, and even what to say in your birthday wishes video. And yes, you can do it all on your phone. Let's get started. My name is Annabelle and I'm a habitual wonder seeker as well as the video editor behind Evergreen Lane Productions. This is the 2021 update to my most popular video ever, how to make a birthday wishes video. This video is packed with even more tips and tricks as well as answering all of your questions that were asked in that last video. Next week, I'll be covering my favorite sources for free music for your birthday videos. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss when that video drops. All right, step number one, what to say in your birthday wishes video. Some people are great at speaking off the cuff into the camera, but I get it. For some of us, it's more of a struggle. So if that's you, here are my best tips. Remember to keep your video to just one or two minutes. Don't feel like you have to record a whole novel or a 10 or 15 minute summary of all of your best moments and all of your best memories. Remember, especially if your video is going into a larger birthday montage, as you can imagine, if you got 20 or 30 10 to 15 minute videos, that becomes kind of out of control. So take the pressure off of feeling like you've got to record a super long video and just stick to the highlights. Start with wishing your loved one a happy birthday and then move on to adding some personal details. This could be your favorite memory, activities you like to do together, a funny story or inside joke, how you met, what this person means to you or has taught you over the years, or how they inspire you and have changed your life for the better. This video right here includes a breakdown of my eight best prompts for if you're still stuck on what to say in your birthday video message. You could write some bullet points on an index card or a little slip of paper, maybe put it in your notes app on your phone, and you can always take a peek if you're worried about missing something really important. But try not to look at it too often. Practice a few times if you need to and don't feel like you've got to get it right the very first time. Especially if you're working with a video editor like me, they're gonna trim out any of those mistakes and repeats. So if you feel like you need to say something one or two times to feel like it's more natural and in the flow, go ahead and do that. Regardless, it's always fun to include a few little bloopers in a birthday message video just to provide some levity and laughter. Also, don't feel like your birthday video message has to be 100% serious or sentimental. If you have an inside joke or you have a way that is guaranteed to get your friend or loved one to laugh, that can be really meaningful and fun as well. You wanna, again, think of your video message as a part of a larger whole that's going together in a montage. So if you have some sentimental messages, some funny messages, the overall film is gonna end up feeling really interesting and personal and sweet. The absolute most important thing here is to just speak from your heart. You're not trying to win an Oscar, you're just trying to show your friend or family member how much they mean to you. So try to look straight into the camera and just imagine that you're talking right to them. As you can see, if you look over to the side at the screen or if you're looking around to other places, you don't maybe feel as much of a connection with the video but if I look right into the camera lens, it's almost like we're sitting and having a conversation together, and that's how you want your loved one to feel when they're watching your video. Ultimately, you know your friend best, so what would make them smile? Step number two is how to record your birthday message video. The key, the most important thing here is to film horizontally and not vertically. Think about where the recipient is going to be watching this video probably on their computer or on a TV screen, and that is a horizontal setup. Here's how a vertical video looks on that kind of screen, and here's what it looks like in horizontal. As you can see, it makes a big difference. If you're part of a birthday message montage, if everyone films in the same orientation, horizontal, then it ends up feeling much more cohesive because all the videos are filmed in that same way. So for filming, Choose a simple background and make sure that you're well lit. I like to stand facing a window, but you can also use something like a ring light or a lamp if you need a little extra boost. I usually try to keep my outfits pretty simple and avoid logos or things with a lot of text, unless that's like specifically a prop in your video. So maybe you're wearing like a sports jersey or something 
like that specifically for the video. Otherwise, it can be kind of distracting. If possible, use a tripod or set your smartphone or camera down on a stable surface when you're recording. A tripod also lets you sit further away from the camera so that your face is not filling up the whole screen. And it can be really helpful if you're trying to record like a group all in one video message. As far as camera settings, make sure your smartphone is set up to record in at least HD. I feel like this is pretty standard these days, but it's worth checking just to be safe. I cover all the details for how to set up your camera, your smartphone for shooting a birthday message video in this video on my channel, so I'll link that up there for you to watch as well. Step number three is to gather submissions. If you wanna collect other video messages from friends and family, I suggest creating a Dropbox folder could also do this as a Dropbox file request. Then you can just share the link with everyone and have them upload their videos directly there so you're not trying to chase down video files from your email or your text threads or your social media messaging platforms. Other options for this are also Google Drive or WeTransfer. You definitely want to avoid using text messaging apps to transfer and collect these video files, if you can help it, a lot of these apps will actually compress the video and make it smaller. So when you're trying to put it together into a montage or you're trying to play it on a TV or a computer, it ends up really small, really grainy, and we just wanna avoid that if we can help it. Like I said, I usually suggest keeping video submissions to one or two minutes, sometimes even 30 seconds. If you're collecting videos from a large group of people, like. 20 or 30 people. Again, you have to think about all that time starting to add up and really making the video almost too long to watch in one sitting. When I work with clients on their birthday videos, I expect that 20 submissions, the final video will result in about 10 to 15 minutes. And if I get 30 submissions, the final video will probably be 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, you wanna keep this video ultimately to a reasonable length so that the recipient will enjoy watching it all the way through. And especially if you're gonna be playing this maybe at a party or like some kind of Zoom gathering, if you start getting up into the 20, 30 plus minute video range, that's more like a movie viewing. <laughs> You wanna make sure that the pacing stays up so that no one gets bored. Also, remind everyone to shoot horizontal, not vertical. Like I said earlier, if everybody submits the same format of video message, it just is easier to put them together, whether you're doing it yourself or hiring it out. It's not the end of the world to have vertical videos and horizontal videos in the same finished product. I've definitely done it before with clients, but having all horizontal videos just looks that much more seamless. When you email everyone to get involved, just give them a short little rundown of what to expect, how long their video should be, what kind of format it should be recorded in. I provide all of my clients with a PDF guide that kind of outlines all of this. Best practices for shooting your birthday video message so that you can just attach it to your email and send it on its way. Step number four is putting it all together. So once you have all the video birthday messages from friends and family, what next? The easiest way to edit them together is to just use an editing software. Basically, whatever software you're using, you'll want to put all the videos together and then trim any of the dead space from the beginning and the end of each video. Usually there's like a pause at the beginning when the person is pushing the camera button and again when they're pushing stop. So you just want to trim all of that part off. Taking things to the next level would kind of be grouping people together. So all of the family members or friends from college or friends from childhood or grandkids. You could group those people together in the video. Remember, 15 to 20 minutes is actually a pretty long time to sit and watch a video if there hasn't been any kind of attention paid to the overall storytelling of the video. What I like to do personally when I'm editing birthday video messages is to take things another step further and actually clip people's messages into smaller sound bites or smaller little stories, and then group those smaller clips together by theme. I often start the video with everyone saying happy birthday right after each other, and then maybe I'll transition to funny stories, stories from childhood, college, or work, and then I wrap up the video with all of the kind of kind words and inspiration and well wishes for the next year. Chances are after watching a few of the birthday video messages that you get submitted from friends and family, you'll start to see some themes emerging. Whether it's that person's love of cooking, 
rock climbing, a particular sports team, or their love of international travel. Editing in this way also means that the person on the screen, the person who's speaking, is changing really frequently, which makes for a more engaging and interesting video. When you use this kind of technique that I developed, it really makes the birthday message feel intentional and like there's a woven like story thread throughout the video. As far as programs to use for editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro on my computer. Uh, there's also iMovie that's an option if you have a Mac or things like Filmora or Camtasia. There's also smartphone editing apps like Adobe Rush, which works great if you already have access to an Adobe uh, Creative Cloud subscription or you can get that app individually. My favorite app for adding fun text or stickers or animation is InShot. And the app Film is great if you wanna add maybe a little kind of vintage feel to your video. They have some pretty great filters. I round up all my favorite video editing apps for iPhone in this video that I linked right here. Step number five, it's time to gift your birthday video message. The first step would be to upload your video as private or unlisted to YouTube. That way you have a link that you can just email. This can definitely be easier than trying to transfer a 10 to 20 minute video file. Those get pretty big. Once you have that link, you can put it in a birthday card and either use a QR code that they can scan with their phone or a bit.ly link that just makes it easier to kind of type from the card to their web browser. You could also just share the file with them via Dropbox or Google Drive or WeTransfer, that's definitely an option, or put the video on a flash drive and send that in the mail. Another option is to show the video at a party. If the party is in person, you can screencast the video to your TV from your computer or your phone, or if the party is virtual, you can use an online platform like Zoom or Google Hangouts to share your screen and then play the video for everyone to watch together. One of my favorite ways to gift a video is to actually use a video album. And this is something that I provide to my clients or you can check the description for a discount code. But this is basically a physical album that you can open. The video plays automatically once you open the album and then not only does the recipient have something fun to like actually unwrap, but they can also keep it on their coffee table, keep it on their bookshelf, wherever they'd like to keep it, and watch this birthday video message montage like whenever they want, whenever they need a little pick me up, they can, uh, they can pick this up and it makes it really easy and accessible. Sign up at the link in the description if you're wanting to get on my wait list for birthday video editing. I'm launching an amazing platform that helps people create birthday video messages the easy way. It uses my signature storytelling system, has built-in prompts, collects all the videos for you, adds music, all the good stuff. In the end, you get an edited video and you pretty much win at gift giving. Check out the link below to sign up and be the first to know once this platform launches.